Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today video lab we are going to learn what is the lambda layer. Before going to the demo, let's understand what exactly the lambda layer is and what exactly the requirement we have for the lambda layer. Now if we talk about the lambda layers, now lambda layer is how we can manage our code effectively or uh, rather I would say how we can manage the external libraries or external dependencies effectively. Imagine something, you are writing a lambda code where you have n number of external libraries or external dependencies which you need to include in your code. Now if you are going to do that, what will happen? Your code is going to be very big. And the second thing is there is a limitation for the lambda as well, right? You need to write your code effectively. One more thing, let, let's suppose there is an external dependency and you are creating 10 functions for the lambda where you need to include that dependency in all the 10 functions. So that is not feasible for you to include or to have that external dependencies every time in the code. So what I'm going to do is whatever the external library, external dependency I have, that is something I can package it in, into a folder, upload it into the Lambda layer and while running my code, I will give the reference of that. Now with this, what will happen is my code is going to be small. And the second thing is wherever I need to include that external dependency, I can do that very easily, right? So here I already logged into the AWS console and let me go to the Lambda. And this is my Lambda. So here is the layer option. So here we are going to upload our layer. Now how to upload the layer? So let me give you one example for that. So for that, what I'm going to do is I will go to my, this is my local PC. Okay. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one folder like with the name Python. So I have the folder created with the name Python and here I'm going to install the external dependencies for the Python. Okay. So uh, for that what I'm going to do is pip pre install minus g python that is the name of the folder and then request. Now let me go inside this folder python and let me do ls so here i have all the dependencies for this module request module right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to zip this folder so let me come out of this python so let me go to the download folders here is the download folder i have and let me zip this thing or let me compress this thing now here is my zip file me go to the layer create a layer and let me click on that let me give a la layer name here so request is the name of the layer request layer something like that you can give the description as well now here it is asking me to upload a zip file so let me upload the zip file here and after that here it is asking me for the compatible runtime i can have a single runtime or i can include multiple runtime that is totally up to me 3.7 is not going to help me so let me go with 3.8 and 3.9 and here I can include the license but this is optional so if you have the license you can include it here I don't have it so I'm not including it here now once you have your layer created the second thing which you need to do is you need to create a function to test it so let me create a demo function okay demo function is the name and here the runtime which I'm going to select Python 3.9 and permission and everything I'm just going with the default setting. So in this video I'm not going to explain how to give or how to create a role or how to provide the proper permission to the Lambda. I have already created a video for that you can go and watch that video so that you can understand how to work with the permission in Lambdas. Now here we have the trigger, here we have the destination and here we have the Lambda layer function. Okay. Now from here I can include my layer so that's okay. Now for for this first I'm not going to include the layer. Let me test my code okay like this only. So let me click on the test and here we need to give the event name. So let me give the test. I'm not going to change any of the value right now. It's a demo test for me. Let me do the test. Great. Here I'm getting the status, co status code 200 that means my code is running absolutely fine. Now let's go with the external dependency so i'm going to do import request okay r e q u e s t 
import request now let me deploy this thing so it is going to take some time to deploy and let me test this thing now here i am getting the error message unable to import module lambda function no module name request okay now what i am going to do is i am going to include my layer here okay now to include the layer here we have the option for the layer here we can add it or add a layer now let me add a layer so here we need to go to the custom layer and choose the layer which we have just created and we have a version that is the default version let me click on add now we have the layer here okay now let me run my code again now here i am getting the status code 200 and i am getting hello from lambda so that means my external dependencies are working absolutely fine with the help of the layer here if you look at the code here i have included this line line number two right import request okay and from where this import request is coming it's coming from the external library which is there in the which is there in this layer so this is how the layer work this is a very basic example how the layers work okay i hope you understand this thing thank you